Hello everyone. This video is going to be all about setting up multiple direct deposit accounts for your employees and then what that will look like on the employees pay stub. So to set up multiple direct deposit accounts, you have two options. You can either go to employees and contractors and once that comes up, you will be able to highlight the employee in particular that you would like to set up multiple accounts for. So for example, if I want to set it up for Mariah, I would highlight her row, then go to the direct deposit slash workers comp tab, and then I can see that she has three accounts in here. And so for any of those accounts, I can add or edit as need be. The second way to do it would be to go to employees and click on direct deposits. This will show every direct deposit account for every employee. And then on this screen, I can also see that she has the same three accounts and what they are, and I can add and edit as necessary. So this is where you want to go to set up any employee that needs multiple accounts. You can simply click add, add the employee who needs the account, go over and enter the routing number and account number, retype the account number, make sure the bank name is correct, and then you can set up the account type. Is it a checking or a savings? And then once you do that, you can set up the calculation method. So for example, if the employee wanted $200 going into one account and then the remainder to go into the other account, you would select fixed amount and then put under amount dollar $200. Then on the second account, you would just select remainder and leave the amount dollar and amount percent columns blank. Or you might have an employee that wants to do a 50-50 split. So you enter the first account, then you do percent of net and put 50 under amount percent. Then set up your second account and then select percentage of net and then put in the other 50%. Okay. So for as many accounts as an employee has, you can set them up here. <clears throat> And then once you have them set up, you can process the payroll through and you will be able to see what the pay stub looks like. So let's go ahead and run this pay date for September 13th. And let's take a look at Mariah's accounts to see how it looks on her pay stub. Okay, still building the reports. All right, and it's built the reports. Now if I go into reports, payroll documents, I can see all of my new reports for pay date September 13th. I'll click the plus sign next to it, and then I want to view the payroll checks, so the stubs. So I'll say um, view it as a PDF, and then I'll click view. And then I will navigate to Mariah's stub. <clears throat> Must have passed it. I believe I might not have keyed hours for Miss Mariah, but just to show you what it looks like for this video, you can see that Miss Burris Tucker has multiple accounts. I know that because it says multi DD, which is multi direct deposit, it says void, this is not a check. And then if I go down to the bottom, I see she has $150 going into her savings account and then the remainder going into her checking account. So you can see down here 
that it will say have multiple direct deposits listed, and then up top it will say that it is indeed multi-direct deposit. So again, I hope this video has been useful for you. It is all about setting up the employee's multiple accounts and you can see multiple accounts accounts under direct deposit. Once you have multiple accounts set up, then you process the payroll as normal and make sure that there are multiple direct deposit accounts that show up on the employee's pay stub. Stay with us as we have numerous other employee videos.